In his book, God and the Astronomers, astrophysicist Robert Jastrow, a self-proclaimed agnostic, wrote, For the scientist who has lived by his faith in the power of reason, the story ends like a bad dream. He has scaled the mountains of ignorance. He is about to conquer the highest peak. As he pulls himself over the final rock, he is greeted by a band of theologians who have been sitting there for centuries. Would you comment on Jastrow's thoughts? Yeah, yeah that's a, an interesting quotation, which is, uh, is now something like 10 years old. And I, I think what Jastrow was thinking about when he made that statement really was the Big Bang uh, theory. I think this, this idea that, uh, that uh, I mean, we would know that uh, certainly before 1965, uh, how the universe began was very much an open question. Um, in 1948, Fred Hoyle and his, and his collaborators uh, made a pretty impressive uh, steady state theory, uh, which, which was uh, con convincing to a lot of people. And, uh, and so it, it's only in more recent years, really, with the Big Bang Ripples experiments in 1992 that really have annihilated uh, to the satisfaction of virtually all scientists, the idea that the universe has always existed. And so when Jastrow talks about uh, the Word of God, he's talking about, you know, Genesis 1, saying that there was a definite beginning, that God created the universe out of nothing. And um, so I think he's absolutely right in, uh, in that respect.